Living in or near wildland is a beautiful experience. It can also be a dangerous one. Have you done everything you can to protect your family and home from wildfire? Lovely, isn't it? Anyone who lives in the wildland area of our county knows how special it is to be living close to nature. Seeing wildlife, incomparable views, and indulging in the peaceful quiet. That's what we love. But, like most good things, there are risks associated with living in the wildland urban interface. Wildfire. Fires in the San Luis Obispo County area are a constant threat. On the central coast of California, the ecosystems are fire dependent, meaning they need fire for its survival. It just so happens that we've now placed our homes in the middle of this fire dependent vegetation. We can take small steps, however, to ensure the survivability of these homes when these fires will come. And I guarantee you, they will come. There are measures you can take to minimize the risk of wildfire destroying your home. The San Luis Obispo County Community Fire Safe Council wants to help you protect your home. This short program will give you an overview of measures you can take to give your home and property the chance to survive a fire. A checklist is included in the DVD package that you can use to evaluate your property. The Highway 41 fire in 1994 roared through San Luis Obispo County. It was the most extreme fire behavior ever recorded up to that point. However, there was a home that survived that fire, and it was no accident it survived. The homeowner had taken the precautionary measures to mitigate the fuels around the home and constructed in such a way that would minimize its risk. Therefore, everything else burned up around it, yet it survived. Defensible space refers to the area between the house and the oncoming wildfire where the vegetation has been managed. Managing the vegetation reduces the wildfire threat and allows firefighters to safely defend the house. In the event that firefighters aren't available, defensible space also improves the likelihood of a home surviving without assistance. And homeowners should never feel that when the big fires break out that there's going to be a fire engine in every driveway that's there. In fact, most of the large wildfires that are around, there won't be any fire response because they're chasing the main part of the fire. And therefore, the homeowner has got to take responsibility to do the little things out there to ensure the survivability of their homes. Defensible space for your home and property can be divided into two zones. Zone one, the first 30 feet surrounding your home in all directions is the lean, clean, and green zone. Zone two is the reduced fuel zone. This is the area that begins approximately 30 feet from your home and extends an additional 70 feet in all directions. Begin protecting your home today by establishing a lean, clean, and green zone. Lean indicates that only a small amount of flammable vegetation, if any, is present within 30 feet of the house. Clean means there is no accumulation of dead vegetation or flammable debris within the area. Green requires that the plants located within this area are kept healthy, green, and irrigated during fire season. For most homeowners, the lean, clean, and green area is also the residential landscape. This area often has irrigation, is planted with ornamental vegetation, and is regularly maintained. With proper management of the fuels near the house, a fire would not be able to generate enough heat to ignite the home. Your first step. Remove all flammable vegetation and any dead or dying plants within this 30-foot zone. This removal should include other hazards too. Wood piles under a deck and any flammable plants within 10 feet of a propane tank should be removed. Any trees should be kept single, not growing in stands. Trees should be cleared of dead branches and foliage and be well trimmed. Any limbs that touch your home or deck or grow within 10 feet of a chimney should be removed. If tree limbs are encroaching on overhead lines, contact your power company. Use some hardscaping near your home. Patios and paths made with concrete, stone, brick, or other non-flammable materials help protect your home. By taking a few simple steps, you have created a lean, clean, and green zone around your home. Let's move on. Step two in creating a defensible space is to create a reduced fuel zone. Begin by reducing surface litter. Surface litter is fallen leaves, twigs, branches, anything dead, dying, or dry that'll feed a hungry fire. 
Next, you and your family will want to provide fuel separation. Fuel separation can be divided into two categories, horizontal clearance and vertical clearance. Uncleared ground fuels like tall dry grasses, dense low growing shrubs, and brush near trees all provide a clear path for rapid spread and increased intensity of fire. Just how much clearance is necessary? Several factors contribute to the equation. We call them the three S's, slope, size, and species. You'll need to look at all three S's to determine the ideal horizontal and vertical clearance. Steeper slopes, more flammable species, and larger size plants will require more distance. Clearance between shrubs should be 4 to 40 feet depending on the slope of the land and the size and type of the vegetation. Take a look at the chart to estimate the ideal clearance for your property. For shrubs on a flat to mild slope, the horizontal distance is calculated by multiplying the height of the plant times 2. This chart is printed on the checklist we've enclosed. Vertical clearance is also critical. Remember how the low branches or shrubs create ladders for fire? Your goal is to create greater vertical clearance to slow or halt the advance of fire. As you evaluate your property, use the chart on the insert to evaluate the vertical clearance necessary. Let's review the steps you can take for you and your family to protect your home. Use the checklist to evaluate your property and prioritize the steps you take to create defensible space. And you don't want to be the cause of fire. So remember to use only power tools with a required spark arrestor and use them before 10 a.m. on cool, moist days. Many local fire councils and fire departments have chipping programs and other ways to help homeowners create defensible space. If you have specific questions regarding your property, you can contact your local fire official. Most importantly, Start today and create a principal space for your home. Don't delay. Wildfire won't wait.